I like to call this sequence the jazz sequence because you hear it so many times. And the main benefit of learning these types of things, not only for your dexterity, but get you to get you thinking in sequential things. Two, four, six, eight, who do we appreciate? is a sequence. A sequence consists of a cell, some musical cell, that's transposed to different scale degrees. I like to call this sequence, and I have a lesson on this, I like to call this sequence the jazz sequence because you hear it so many times. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little sequence cell and we're going to transpose it to different scale degrees. And here's the sequence. One, two, three, five. Sounds like the Tennessee Wells. Okay, so we're just doing this. Now, if we transpose it to each scale degree, I get this. So ha um, we're going scale-wise, and then we're going to skip to a third. You seeing it? There it is. Now that was key of G. If I continue up, I could get key. Now, there it is. Now, if I transpose it in thirds, I make it something like this. So I'm gonna go, here's my cell. Now I'm gonna start on Instead of the next note, I'm going to skip a note and do it here. So I get this. Then. Now, if I transpose that, or let's play it, let's play it descending in the same order. Okay. Now let's take that same cell and transpose it to in fourths. So if I start here, so a fourth up would be on C, a fourth up from there would be uh, F sharp, and then a fourth up would be B. Okay, so it would look like this. Now, if I take it back down, starting on D here. Okay. Now let's do it starting here on A. Up a fourth from A is D. Up a fourth from D is G. Up a fourth is C. So I get this. Now listen. It, yeah, that's a pretty sequence. Okay, um, descending might sound like this. So can you hear that as an end, maybe as, as a credenza? Okay, 
So your ability to play within a key in sequences is can really be nice. I mean, you could create some really cool things. Now, if I did that same thing and went up in fifths, it might look something like this. All right. But now let's do the reverse of that. We're, what we're going to do is we're going to go down a third and then scale wise. Now, if I take that and play it ascending, in other words, I'm playing the third first. So. Now I, I, I hear a line that you hear a lot. You kind of hearing that? So this type of playing sequences is um, just this simple one. We're only talking about one sequence here, right? Uh, descending a minor third and then scale wise for two other notes. Ascending three scale wise notes and then a skip with a third. You get very cool things. So the best thing to do is probably to take this. Uh, well, number one, I have a lesson on it that goes into much more detail on this. Uh, but I would check it out. And the main benefit of learning these types of things, not only for your dexterity, but get you to get you thinking in sequential things. Um, and then it, it, like, for instance, the song we opened up with today, uh, Samba de Ofeo. I'm in a different key. It might be loud. Yeah. So it, it gives a little more predictability and more organization to your solo. It makes it sound like you know what you're doing or you're intending to do this. So anyway, uh, get that lesson on sequences. It's called uh, Sequence uh, uh, 
the cell and transposition of sequences. Okay, and you get all this paperwork. That's at the Guitar College Library. Hey, play play the demo. Here it is. Can you play the demo? I can't. No. Oh, because you're not a member. Yeah. Oh. Nope. When are you gonna join? Um, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Extending the arpeggio on a major scale, I get the following chord sequence. One, three, five, seven, two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Um, yeah, yeah, that's correct. Hi, Rich here again. I just wanted to say thanks for checking out my videos. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and sign up for those notifications so you can see all the cool guitar videos we put out each week. If you want more lessons right now, I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. Check out our low price monthly streaming memberships. And if you want to learn jazz, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. I take beginner jazz players and get them playing awesome solos on the fly. You'll see the link for the JGI course in the description below. Hey, thanks again for watching my channel. We'll see you again real soon with a new video.